I've been talking about how we use data within our sort of operations and planning and the sort of the way that we use particularly our customer data that we get from the ticketing system to understand travel behavior and reliability of our services. Well, I think that you, you've seen this whole sort of growth of the idea and the concept of big data, and there's a lot of excitement about it. Um, and I think people will begin to sort of think about how can I use this to actually answer some of the business questions that I'm, uh, that I'm looking for that my organization needs to solve, either if, if you're a, uh, a marketing company to increase your market share, if you're in the pri private sector, or if you're in the public sector, how can I improve my operations, save money, save costs, become more efficient, um, and understand my customers better in doing so. Uh, I think one of the challenges is that you have a, a lot of information, probably in many different types of uh, unstructured and structured sort of sections. They don't always, your data doesn't always talk to each other easily. You have to do a lot of thinking about what are the business questions you want to answer, where do you start, and then how do you get some of the real detail to be aligned. So if you have two different definitions of a term, um, what do you mean by a particular term? How does your data set talk to each other? And before you can even get to the uh, insight, you have to do that sort of hard work of really thinking very critically about what you've got and what you want to do. I think it's really all about using the data to think about new ways of answering questions uh, or new questions you couldn't answer before. But they've got to be focused not on technology, not on whizzy things that you're doing, but on things that will actually drive the business forward, whatever business you're in.